Good morning, it's Heather here. And if you like to learn new stuff, then you came to the right place. Um, I love to learn new stuff every day. So we're basically gonna do research on eBay, what has sold. You can click a button and it'll show you the exact price certain things sell for. Um, okay. So let's finish opening up the chat, get everything ready for this YouTube setup live stream. Gonna open the chat and pop it open. Here we go. Good morning. Hola. Welcome back. Okay, let's see. Where'd that chat go? I don't know why YouTube doesn't just add it somewhere more <laughs> convenient, right? Let's see here. Go chat. All right, let's see. So already I have two little Teletubby plush toys to list for sale today. They are literally sitting in front of me. Luckily they're not staring at me. Somehow their eyes are facing the other way. Um, so let's do some research on some vintage plush toys. Wait. So. If you only want to see stuff that's nothing less than $50, you type in your price that you want minimum, minimum, and you do have to hit the arrow or hit the enter button, return or enter. Okay, so this is all that's active, and we want to look at solds because we want to see what people are buying. And this is so cool because I love popples. Um, if you didn't have a popple or if you don't know this brand, it just brings a smile to my face. Um, I'd say like three years ago in Walmart, they were selling mini ones. Oh, I don't recall these with the weird hands. These ones have like plastic hands. I thought they were all plush. These are like rubber. Huh. Maybe I just don't recall. Let's see what year it says. Does it? Hmm. Yeah, 1985 and 1986. Interesting. Okay. I never even see these at the pound store. Now I know why, because they sell for okay money. Let's see, to do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So they're worth over $10 each, possibly. And I can't see this chat. All oh, popples. Yours was plush too. Yeah, I don't ever remember seeing these weird rubber hands. Ew, look at that skunk. <clears throat> okay, a lot of these I never have seen before. All of these are kind of new. So I did have him when I was a kid. But none of this I ever really see at the pound store or the thrift stores, I don't think. We might need to go in and add our price higher so we can... Wow, hedgehogs. Oh, chat, you are no fun. What did I need to do? Like, put that down there, I think, around there? Or I can make like the screen smaller, right? But that just is kind of uncomfortable, isn't it? Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, Lordy, I didn't mean to click on that. Yeah, I don't even like this screen. Okay. So I, wa I ha watched that. I had those. Let's see. Okay, this is cool. I would have never thought this sold for $89. They're all priced pretty high. This one's in excellent condition. So it's kind of got like that cheap terry cloth material, it looks like, maybe. Eden. Okay. Very good, very good. <clears throat> Were you born in the 80s as well? Best friend in your thread? I was born in 83. Bantam, what? 
I've never seen that. That's a hand puppet, right? Okay, that is cool. Mr. Rogers. Oh my god, that's creepy. Very cool. I'm not sure I would have known that was from Daniel Tiger. Interesting. Which Daniel Tiger now has a show, so I could see how that, a new show, so I could see how maybe that would resell. Wow. $600 or best offer. They're in the box, though. You never know. We might find these at Goodwill. Sometimes we find stuff in shoe boxes that have been that is so cute it's like baby huey cool very interesting 81 okay so you know a couple years more education than i do so i had the care bears too i had this when i was a kid I'm not sure why. I did have a little brother, and he's three years younger than me. Um, so maybe that was his. I don't know. But that is so cool to know that if I did find him, he does sell pretty good. I didn't know that. Do, do, do. Vintage Woody. Oh, he's a plush figure. I have seen Woody a couple times, but I didn't know. So he's rubber head and the rest is fabric except for his boots. Hmm. Very interesting. Wow, I can't believe this dog sold for a hundred. What is that? Like a fox or something? Commonwealth Pegasus Pink Large Jumbo Plush Stuffed Animal with Wings. Why didn't they put the word horse? or a unicorn. What is this? A pegasus? Looks just like a unicorn or a horse. God, it sold for a lot of money. Pegasus? Okay. This, um, this kind of makes me want to look at tiny toys next um, because most of you who are regulars around my channel know that I have profited tremendously off of the little tiny littlest pet shop toys and I never knew that they were a gold like a gold mine um, I just found them one day a whole bunch of them um, and I did the research or I kind of like didn't know they would blow up on YouTube, but I did my eBay research and they seemed to sell okay, but I never knew it would blow up on YouTube. Um, so to if I were to be able to find another vintage cool toy and like do another video on a toy that's like so popular, like the LPSs, that would be a goal. That would be definitely something I need to do. Let's look at those next. All right, I'm going to refine my price up to $99 real quick. We're going to get rid of some of this little $50 ones. You had a call? Yes, Littlest Pet Shop. Okay, so the llama. Oh, my gosh. Very large llama. Oh, I sold one of those. For my sister, kind of like that. <clears throat> okay. So this um, dog, Fox, is expensive. Here he is twice. Balto? I don't even know what this is. Do y'all? Why doesn't it say what movie he is? Does it? Universal City Studios? Hmm, what movie is he from? Anybody know? No clue. 
Not a clue. <laughs> yeah. Maybe if we see his tag. Let me look him up real quick. I have my phone right here. Balto Dog. Is that what he is? Let's see. Universal City Studios Balto Dog. Good, it typed it just right. I don't get it. Let's see. It seems like he looks familiar, but I can't figure out. He's a sleigh dog. Sled? Sleigh? Hold on. I'm just looking at images. Sled dog. Why the heck doesn't it? Okay. It's a live action animated epic drama adventure film. Uh, oh, is the movie called Balto? It says Balto is a 1995 American live action epic drama adventure film. The film is loosely based on a true story about the dog of the same name. An elderly woman, and I've never even seen the movie. I'm going to have to write it down to watch the movie. Let me get this little, actually. I'm going to have to watch this movie. It sounds pretty good if people are paying up for the dog. And I'm a sucker for animal movies. I hope it doesn't make me cry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, it's going to see, okay, we got our one friend here. Okay. <laughs> um, back to search. So we know Balto is worth some money. It helps to know what he is if you find him, right? Okay. We all know who Alf is. I'm all boring. <laughs> okay, this ugly kitten. Then we got that d weird dinosaur. What the heck is up with this red dinosaur? We'll have to go back and look at that. Oh, wow. Did it say mohair? It did. Mohair is like super soft, like um, cashmere kind of like, I think. Super soft. Okay, what the heck is up with this? Manhattan Toy Company, Red Brontosaurus. <clears throat> so they're all from the 80s. Isn't that cool? So far, we haven't even got to like the older stuff really. Too much. Look at the women and their chipped fingernail polish. The other lady in the other picture, she needed her nails done and so did this. And I have to say, mine are like super short today. And I literally went to the salon and paid $25 yesterday to have someone paint my fingernails. That's like super rare for me. I just didn't want to do it. And I'm so happy I paid them because it's done. And I think it might last a little longer than when I do it. So <sighs> thank you for people who paint nails, right? Look at this. Pokemon lot. That's cool. So if I ever see a bunch donated, be sure to grab them all. Like the Lilith's Pet Shop. <laughs> Pamper Day. Well, I mean, I did a lot. and ran around. Bunch of errands. Um, my mom. Who is this Leo Rufus? I've seen him before. And he sells for $210. That's cray cray, right? Hmm. So, so far we have a dog and a lion. Okay. So when I find Pooh Bear, I kind of don't 
every time I look him up, he's never worth anything. I'm actually going to write that down. So Pooh Bear actually does have a movie out right now, too. Or they did like two weeks ago. Um, but I need to learn which ones are worth money because every time I find them, they're never worth anything. Especially like Mickey Mouse. Like I'm going to write that down, too. Um, I get so tired of like researching common stuff like Mickey Mouse and Pooh Bear. And every time I do, they're never worth anything. So hopefully we'll get to it today. What did I say I was going to look up next? Do you remember best friend in your thread? I said I was going to look up something next after this one. Can't remember. If not, we'll just go to the ones I wrote down. Oh, tiny, what, tiny toys or something? Okay, so I don't know this freaky toy. $544, you guys, from 1966. We need to go up and refine our price, don't we? That is so cool. Was that a buy it now? You forgot. Yeah, it's the tiny toys, I believe. I don't know. I can't tell if that was a buy it now. How do you come up with, oh yeah, best offer. And how do you come up with $544.99? Just put $545, people. It's so retarded. I just don't understand why anybody would put a price of $544.99. I don't care if it looks a dollar cheaper. It's retarded. Um, <laughs> good morning. About, oh, the tiny toys. Yeah. So I don't know this one. Barney and Friends. Okay, so let's go up and make this price. Oh, we already did the 100 What if we did... I don't know why I'm doing 199 like I just told y'all. Just put 200 <laughs> Hey, Turtle Trader. Okay, so now we have all the dinosaurs together. Never seen these before. I think I passed these a second ago. I did not know that these were worth money. Look how cute they are. They look super soft. Uber soft. He even has a hole. Manhattan Toy Company. Hmm. <clears throat> I have no idea what this is. Like, this is a terrible picture, but maybe he just lays like that. Okay, we already looked at the top ones. So this is hilarious. I think I've seen one of those before. Long, long time ago. So there's our vintage Mickey. Huh. OMG, you guys. Look at these animals and these plush toys. They are creepy. How many do we got? Oh, there's only 19. Flinched. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at this Torky, you guys. Okay, what's the difference? Steve Scotty dog with FF button, FF button. So this one was bit up. This one was bit up also. He has red and this one doesn't. They're both Scotties. Oh my god, that background is terrible. <laughs> Come on. That's it. No tag. Wow. Does that say S N D S I T D? Hmm. Oh, he has glass eyes. Original silver FF underscore button. The tail moves the head side to side. Very rare. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, look, there's that dog again, but not the pink one. Bantam. Bantam. 274. 249. I told y'all that pink one was a terrible picture. Look at that one. Frumpy background, yeah. Oh, the red bow is so cute. So I find vintage toys like this all the time, but finding an expensive one is one that you gotta look for. So this is why, okay, I never find any old, old Mickeys like that. I think I've seen this, maybe. Wow, the Rushton Company. So yucky, and it's still sold for $600 bidding, you guys. Okay, anytime I see these plush with this plat rubber face, I'm going to start picking these up. Look at this cute little cow. He's so cute. She is. I said he. I remember this. Oh, my gosh. Why is this snowman so much? And it got bid up to $445, you guys. Eden. Oh, the Eden brand is popular. Eden, Raymond, Briggs, Snowman, 1995. Wow. He's got his tags. <clears throat> Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, who would have thought on all these? Look at that Mickey Mouse with a uh, his wiener. We'll go back to it. Okay, so beware of the plush Pokemon, especially the little angry guy. He sells for $200. Shiny. Sus I don't know how to say that. Soy Soon? I don't know. No clue. What is this? A molded figure. <clears throat> she does have a, a neat name. Laika the Space Dog. Never seen it. I never see these two-headed monsters or that other one. I sure would like to find it. Oh, I used to have this. Did you have this one, best friend, in your thread? Look at this. Oh, my gosh, I remember this one. I don't know if I had the elephant or what, but I had this. And I loved it for some reason. Look how cheap it is. Jumbo love. <laughs> it's so cute. Sorry, I'm having a moment. It sold for $345. Basically $346. It's so retarded why anybody would put a price like that. So weird. Um, because 350 sells all day long too, right? <laughs> okay, here we have another Eden, right? Is this gonna be your Eden again? You remember it? Okay. <laughs> I think this is Eden. I'm not quite sure because it just the tag, right? Is it Eden? Maybe it's not. Mr. Bingle. Hey, Bingo. Nope, it's not Eden. Has a club just for kids. Wow. I mean, you're only seeing like one of these sold. So, I mean, the odds of getting another one sold that high, I don't know. But with stuff that have bids, for sure, definitely pick up... Um, 
stuff that has been bid up because you know it will resell again. But these buy it nows, they can be tricky. Be careful. Creepy clown. I think I missed it. Oh, look at the silver button again. What brand was this one? Stife. Steve? Has a metal tag. Oh, okay. Maybe it's just a cow tag. Did I miss a clown? Oh, they're like the... The um, snowman looks like a clown. I think that's what you were saying. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I wish I could find one of these. Why does it say prototype signed by the artist? You don't even show the signature. That's weird. That is a very cool cat, though. Look, it's $480 and it's got 34 bids. Insane. <sighs> Look at this goofy thing. Oh my God. I think I've seen this one before. Wow, you guys. Look at this Halloween witch. $820 with like 54 biddings. Oh, she's got, um, what is that? Velvet, a velvet dress on. Oh, it's all dirty. You know who would have thought, right? She's ugly. I can't believe that sold for that much money. I hate when eBay goes way to the top. Where was I? <clears throat> Look at that elephant again. Oh my gosh. Freaking out. Who would have thought that the Super Mario did a buy it now for 270, you guys? Wasn't there one? Oh my god, it is selling. It sold twice, unless it's the same listing. Mario Party. So definitely look for the 2003 Nintendo tag, or Nintendo period on the tag, which it should if it has Mario, right? Puff in Stuff TV show, late 60s. Wait, the turtle? I mean, the the elephant? Is that what you're saying? Let me look. Puffin what? Puffin tough? What? Push, plush pink, puff -a lump Oh, yeah. Okay, I gotcha. I see. <laughs> I was like, what? That's so funny. Okay. That's cool, too. All right, let's look at tiny toys. We'll probably do this for another seven, eight, nine, 13 minutes. I don't know. It depends. My mom will show up any minute, too. If she shows up a little earlier before 9, then I may end it. But we'll try to go to 9. So we're going to take off this and do 99. <clears throat> but we're going to change the title next. So we got the price changed. Now I'm going to put tiny toy. I don't know if I really want the word vintage. I don't know. Um, we may add that here in a minute. So tiny toy. I wonder if I should put, oh my God. <laughs> See, <laughs> like who wouldn't love to find a tiny little toy and sell it for $116 if you don't lose it in the process of selling it, right? Look at this thing. Is that D house, like dollhouse? Dollhouse miniature? <laughs> no clue. These are creepy. Whoa, is that fabric? Jointed.
is so tiny and so cute. And he is fabric. Okay, he is fully jointed. That is so cool, you guys. You got to watch out for these tiny little pieces. They truly do sell. I am obsessed with tiny things. Who isn't, right? <laughs> what the heck is this candy corn? <laughs> I'm not looking at this stuff in the box. Usually I find stuff that is used. Holy moly, I think I had a lot of these for my sister, but we totally sold these already in a garage sale probably, but I bet these are older. Let me look. Yeah, 2010. Huh. Yeah, mine weren't this old for sure. <clears throat> okay. Oh, wow. Limited edition. I don't see the box. So let's check out this tiny Shopkin. I actually have some of these, but not like this. Um, and I don't know much about these. And I need to do more research because, again, I do have some of these. But, again, none of these with a little lid. What is that? Like some kind of lava season eight. It's just, they didn't even describe what it is to do. You know what I mean? Like it's a freaking volcano in there, isn't it? Only one thousand made. It looks like ice cream or something in there. I don't know. Okay. This is crazy, you guys. A thousand dollars. He looks like he's on drugs. <laughs> or something's wrong with him. He's so creepy. But this is so cool. I like it. I'm going to have to start picking up stuff like that. From a private collection. Look, here's another Shopkins. Limited edition. I wonder if they still sell without the uh, little card. Well, that's lame. Can't see what's inside. New York City. Okay. They put tiny New York City in the description on that one, luckily. Oh, this is cool. Huge lot of tiny vintage plastic toy charms. I want to see. <sighs> Do these look like really good charms? Wow, who would have thought that they'd still sell for $100? But, I mean, it looks like you have Yorkie. You got some elephants. Um, definitely some collector pieces in here. Because a lot of animals. There's the monkeys, see no, hear no, speak no evil. That's cool. And it even got bit up, you guys. Um, 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 um. What is this called? A BIM toy. Bim toy. The heck is this? Funko, but I didn't. I've never seen the ghost. Interesting. There's only one picture. I'm not missing anything, am I? Those were some sad pictures. <laughs> That's funny. That's cool. Creepy, but cool. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Oh, 
Oh, this is so cute. Look, it's a tiny cast iron skillet. It bid up to $125. We just used one of these this past weekend camping, um, but ours was obviously not a tiny one. Um, but to see that a tiny one is wanted, that's cool. So automatically, as you always hear me talk about the littlest pet shop toys, um, here they are. They, they do pull up in the over $100 pricing. Um, however, I wouldn't really add in the houses. I think the pets alone sell. <laughs> My husband just texted me and said he almost ran over a wild turkey. That is crazy. I didn't know we had turkeys on that certain road. Wild ones. You really need to educate yourself more on those Funko toys. Well, I don't think they're donated yet because they're so like um, popular right now. They're something that is the kids are playing with. So you're not going to really see them donated maybe at next year's garage sale. Um, but those Funko toys, they do sell. But I've never really seen them in the... Um, garage show I mean the at the thrift stores or anything but when was this when did this guy come out let's look let's look what year it's not gonna have the year on this one go figure Funko we'll look at Funko together we got five minutes let's look Do you want to look at used or new, Kayla? Do you buy new stuff or do you usually thrift used stuff? Let me know. Funko Toy. Toy Story. No, we don't want Toy Story. Um, yeah, let me know. Do you usually pick up new with tag or will you be picking up used? And we'll do the research with you. I've been seeing them at my Goodwill unopened, but they're all just lame ones selling for $10. Yeah, my Goodwill does have some also. Not not like your Goodwill store, but the higher end boutique. They do have um, like five or six. And I actually already scanned them and you're right, they do sell for $10 or less. You've been wanting to look at new at Walmart. Okay, well, we'll just leave it at new and used. Um, but I have done the research on these before, but again, I mean, in order to find these, let's look at used because I honestly just don't feel like the expensive ones are going to be donated. Um, if they are, it's rare and we're all going to want to do our research anyways. Um, but let's look. Obviously, my little pony, I'm like, hey, do these sell at Walmart right now? Let's look. I have the Walmart app. Um, where's Walmart? Okay, for cell phone, quit being glitchy. My phone is literally moving by itself. I'm not even lying. Let's see. It's like I need to turn it off and reopen it. Oh my god, it's being so glitchy. The screen's moving without me. <laughs> I'm going to power it off. Okay. Okay, yeah, we have our My Little Pony all day long. Look, someone sold the Toys R Us, Times Square, New York. It reminds me of somebody that I would know that would sell this. Ritzy Shack, huh? Interesting. Okay, powering my phone back on. Hey, I forgot about my coffee. It's cold. Hold on. We got three minutes, huh? I really don't need any more coffee, to be honest. Oh, yeah, it's still hot. Okay, so you got the Funko Cap Captain America. Did I hit used or not? Yeah. So what, these are used with a box or what? 
Yeah, these WWF characters, they do sell. Look at them, guys. $445 for wrestling figurines. I didn't know that was a Funko Teddy Freddy. Oh, that's Five Nights at Freddy. Oh. Huh. That's cool. <laughs> so funny, Toy Story. How do these all have the box? Toys R Us, Bugs Bunny. Look at Five Nights at Freddy, dude. He is selling for a hundred bucks. Ooh, creepy. Heck yeah, I can't wait to find these bad boys into the uh, thrift stores, especially the pound store. We saw um, The Incredibles, like they had a movie out like six months ago. It was really good, you guys. If you haven't seen the newest Incredibles movie, it's pretty good. My little pony. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we obviously know that My Little Ponies. Sell in the, those thingies. Saved my $99 price. Look at this cool ass little teeth thingy. Oh, it's made out of jade. I, that is so cool that someone made a toy out of real jade. Come on now. Love your children, right? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, you guys. This is so cool to know that this is jade. I hope I find this one day. Couple more looks, you guys. I'm addicted to this research. Can you tell? Oh, look, they got a cereal one too. Why didn't that pop up a minute ago? Oh, because I put in like mini. Do we not have used on here? See, here's the glitch. I can't get to condition. Can anybody help me? Okay, I'm having a glitch issue with eBay right now. Um, I can't go to used. Is it because there isn't any? Like, see, here's the condition. See all. Why won't it let me hit new or used? I had this problem recently. Why did it do that? So I had to remove the filters. That's retarded. I just solved my own problem, but that is so retarded. <clears throat> okay. All right, folks, that's it. I hope you guys learned something new. I honestly feel like I did on the um, plush toys. Let's see, we know that the Funko, that the My Little Pony is a score. Um, there was lots of good stuff in there. So I think I'll continue to do these. I don't know, just one day they'll probably fall off and I'll just quit doing them. Maybe if I get busy or find something else to talk about. There's always something to talk about, right? Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment box below. And I hope you have a wonderful day sourcing and listing. We will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.